artificial intelligence makes many of us think of Siri or Google Assistant, which is on the right track. For others, it makes us think of Skynet, which is not. Whatever the problem, AI is often a system which has had the concept of a solution described in detail to it. In a defined and an efficient manner, the system makes use of its inhumane ability to calculate millions of problems per second, then produces whatever best suits the description given to it. A fitting example is to think of music. If you only define music as noise, it's unsurprising that piercing white noise is produced. If you define music as noise with certain frequencies, for example, say C major, then the right sounds emerge. However, it's not until you define tempo, volume, timbre, and counterintuitively silence will an AI generate something akin to a novice's composition. I work in collaboration with BT, British Telecom, to solve a real-world problem using a subset of AI techniques grouped by the term of evolutionary computation. Inspired by Darwin's theory of evolution, results are produced in minutes rather than thousands of years. The problem I'm helping BT try to solve is one of optimization. If we have a large number of employees who need to complete a broad number of tasks, it would take a human lifetime to consider all possible allocation combinations. Using evolutionary algorithms, it becomes possible to find a good solution in a short period of time. The next problem is defining this good solution. Think of an employee schedule. Employees would be justified in being irritated if the generated schedule gives them no weekends off or forces them to work seven days a week. It becomes obvious we need to consider employment law and contractual obligations. Equally important is to consider employee preferences, such as having weekends off and ensuring that no one employee is overly indulged or unfavored in the schedule. Thus, a surprisingly human element comes into artificial intelligence, where we need to teach our computer to consider the human element, where it would otherwise not be able to. The algorithms I've developed are currently in use by BT in, to aid in the simulations of possible employee rosters and also what-if scenarios. For example, what if employees were trained in a specific new skill in this area? Software I've produced will help in the future development of designing employee schedules for BT. Some of this work has been referenced in the operational research magazine Impact, published to an IEEE SSCI conference and being processed for a PPSN conference this year. Output data from my software has also been the fuel for two undergraduate dissertations this past year. I hope my work can continue to be used to solve real-world problems, and I hope my research can also be used to solve other ones. Thank you.